Hey, Shalom, Akim, Shalom, I'm my first thing and foremost, I want to give out praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honor to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone and rule well, blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. New in this gospel, brought lifting up the standard of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. <laughs> this is a quick lesson through the Spirit. Uh, to tell you, to say the least, this place is through. <laughs> This is a uh, Beyonce speaks at the Kamala Harris rally, and it was quite comical, man. Um, as the brothers and myself was kind of discussing it in the group chat, it's lucky for the background noise, but uh, the brothers and myself was kind of discussing it. And we, if you look at Beyonce's face, I actually took some screenshots uh, of the picture, but you know I could just play the video. But if you look at Beyonce's face. Either she was blackmailed or forced to do this interview or this speech because she doesn't really look enthusiastic about it. And most people that came there, they uh after Beyonce said a speech and did what she had to do, then you know, everybody pretty much got up and walked away. And those that remained, they was booing this Kamala chick. <laughs> and she got frustrated with him and she basically, you know, she wasn't insulting him, but she was basically trying to, you know, regain her footing because she was struggling with the crowd. Especially this is a Texas crowd, you know, uh, Houston, even though there's a lot of Jake's down there in, in Houston. But the fact Texas is a red state, man, and Kamala ain't looking too good. <laughs> then you had Michael Obama, Michelle Obama, that basically went up there and she was trying to uh, shame the voters and people talking about why is the election even close? Well, what do you mean? Why is it close? The Democrat or the Biden administration haven't done anything for Jake. At all, but raised taxes, inflation, took away jobs, man, you know, gave money to migrants, to, you know, gave, gave money to fund the war in Ukraine, they gave money to Israel. So, you know, people, man, they pretty much fed up with it. <laughs> and this is Babylon's final hooray as to make some type of society within. But overall, it's done. You can see the spirit on these people that threw, you know. Uh, my, Michelle Obama got up there and she basically passively aggressively was basically, you know, trying to shame the people, man, you know, because they pulled every rabbit out of the hat. First, they gave you Megan Thee Stallion. They gave you this nigga Quavo. They gave you Eminem. OK, they gave you Beyonce, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama. And basically identity politics is which they, they, they forced it down Jake's throat. You know, vote for me because I look like you. You know, they're not breaking down policies or the policy will benefit the Jake race. And Jake is just pretty much at the point like, man, this is a goddamn joke, man. You know, Jake is like, fuck this shit. I don't, I don't, we don't, Jake is voting Trump, even though <laughs> no matter who you vote for, it's, 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 it's a done deal. But Jake is waking up to the Democratic Party that they was, that they never had your best interest. Okay. Only people that's voting for this current administration and the Democrat Party is a bunch of moles and a bunch of goddamn women. But the men like, fuck this shit. We're not voting for the, these people. Every, every time you put these people in office, weird shit happens. Like their biggest thing now is, is allowing women to do what they want to do with their bodies. And people are sick of the confusion. You know, rebelliousness. The only time they say they want you, Jake, to come out and support them is when it openly has you to rebel against your power. And you've been rebelling against Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai for since, since forever. And with this current administration, it's 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 nonetheless, you know? So anyway, I'm, I'm going to play this video, man. Um, it's only a five-minute video. I got like two precepts, but like I said, you can't make this shit up. Babylon is done. But pay attention to Beyonce's face. And you can, look, you, you can see the look of, like, why am I here on her face? Because she knows some bullshit. You know, because for one thing, you're trying to appease to a bunch of people that do not, that the reality, you, you don't live that reality. You don't live the reality of the people that's coming to support these rallies and all this other stuff. You know, you're rich. Your husband's a fucking billionaire. You know, you got everything you've ever would a, a person could want in life. And yet you're trying to coerce people to vote for people to sustain their lives when you don't have this problem. OK, you don't have tax problem. You don't have. Uh, past due uh, mortgage rate problem. You don't have, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, child, you know, you, you just don't have the average problem that the average person have here. Taxes, child support, behind in rent, you know, light bill, got just fucking hundreds of thousand dollars in debt. 
Beyonce ain't got no goddamn debt, man. She's a fucking billionaire. You know? So, it's quite comical. But anyway, I'm going to play th this video and now we'll get a couple of precepts. So, here we go. See when they want to use you, Jakes, and they want to want to want to manipulate you and, and put a guilt trip on you. They put these people in front of you, okay? Which Beyonce, she don't have the interest of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay. We are so happy to be standing here on this stage as proud country Texas women supporting and celebrating. President Kamala Harris. A woman who's been pushing for what this country really needs right now. Unity. It's impossible not to feel the energy in this room, the positivity, the community, the humanity. We are at the precipice of an incredible shift, the brink of history. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here as a politician. You hear this shit? So you're not here as a celebrity, then what the hell are you there for? It's clearly like when you look at the comments, people waking up, they said billionaires have no worries at all. She's not passing out money. It says, sorry, but we're no longer requiring celebrities. We the people need to stop supporting them across the entire world. So people are waking up to the bullshit, man. They're realizing that this, that both sides of the party are, are running a smut campaign on them. Okay, it says, the more celebrities you put in front of my face, the farther I get away from voting for you because people know that it's bullshit, man. People ain't going for the hype no more. They're like, man, what the fuck? People are waking up, man. Okay, you can't give people Oreo cookies and milk no more expecting to not want more. <laughs> it says, how many president, how many celebrities does it take to lose a presidential campaign? Hey, but you know what? These people, they don't have no hope, okay? This is their hope. And this is why the Lord said, man, hey, that those of us that, that believe in a name and in his name through faith, we're going to be cool. Okay. It says that our hope is full of immortality and the faith of the Lord. We hope in a better power, man. Okay. We're not, we're not, we're not in a mindset of supporting these people because we understand through the spirit that these people ain't got our best fucking interests. So Jake is waking up to the, to the fugaziness finally. But even then, that's still not enough because the two thirds are not going to come back into the heavenly father. All right. I'm here as a mother. A mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. A world where we have the freedom to control our bodies. A world where we're freedom to control our bodies, like that, that's this our rebellion, and this is the reason why this place is getting jacked up in the first place. Okay, you don't have no control to do what the hell you want to do. You're promoting whoredom, you're promoting debauchery, you're promoting lawlessness, man. You know, confusion, and this is all that this current administration has pushed on our people confusion. You know, not divided, our past, our present, our future merge. To meet us here. You can see it all in her face. She don't want to do this goddamn speech. She was either black man. They probably was threatening to, to pull out the ditty list on her ass. Because these celebrities, they're all intertwined with this whole scandal of, of uh, uh, celebrity scandals with, with child trafficking. All this shit. All these celebrities are in on it, man. You know, but yet they feed you these celebrities and you people eat it up. Like they have your best interest. But if you pay attention to her face... She's clearly not feeling it because she knows it's bullshit. You know, she knows that this is <laughs> this current administration or soon to be the next would not have the best interests of the people. Neither sides of it. It's a done deal. Babylon is finished. Imagine our daughters growing up, seeing what's possible with no ceilings, no limitations. Feminism bullshit. Imagine our grandmothers. Imagine what they feel right now. Those who have lived to see this historic day. Even those who are no longer physically with us, imagine all of their sacrifice. 
The sacrifice is made so we can witness the strength of a woman. And that's how you know this place is through because it all gears to elevating a goddamn woman. Like all these people in the audience, they either they either moles or fucking feminists, man. And this is all that this current rulership has promoted. The straight wickedness. And this is why this place is going to be destroyed. Standing in her power. Reimagining what leadership is. And women can't be leaders. Women are not, women are horrible leaders, man, okay? Because that's not their role. She knows bullshit. Look at her face. Scriptures say you can know a man by his countenance. Look at her. She knows, she knows some folly. For all the men and women in this room and watching around the country, we need you. Your voice has power and magnitude. Your vote is one of the most valuable tools, and we need you. Your freedom is your God-given right, your human right. And her father's a pastor, so she should fucking know better. That's bullshit. You know, your freedom. Like, there's no free will, right? The Lord said we have laws, statutes, and commandments to abide by. Not go as you please or to... You know, jump all around with your titties out in the streets. That's not scripture. Everybody say Texas. Yeah. Texas plays a pivotal role to change the course of our future. Texans and Houstonians from Third War. River Oaks, Sugar Land, Fifth War, Ailey, Memorial, Southwest Side. North side, all the way down to most city. We all have a role to play to make this a reality. We're all part of something much bigger. We must vote. And we need you. It's time to sing a new song. A song that began 248 years ago. The old notes of downfall, discord. And this is the same, and that's the spirit she said 248 years, and we know that an empire bottoms out at the 250, so that's a, another context clue. This shit is done, but that would throw these niggas in y'all face, man, and y'all supposed to just take it and run with it. This shit is over with, but anyway, this is the book of Mark 13, and I'm gonna start a versus, uh, 25, it says, and the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. The stars is going to these celebrities, man. Okay, their word is not holding the weight that it once had with you tribes because all the scandal, the ditty shit, the, you know, the, the Epstein, all of these celebrities are all juiced in. Okay, they're not innocent. Okay, they have to do things in order to obtain the positions that they have in the society and they have to sell out. Okay, they have to do things that's against their better judgment, so to speak, and she's no different. Her judge came out and admitted that, I mean, not her judge, but her, one of her drummers, or I believe one of her musicians came out and admitted that she's involved in heavy witchcraft, man. And yet, this is public information, but yet you people will still sleep because that's part of the sorcery. Okay, they're pulling the wools over your eyes, man. And it says, and they should, it says here, and the stars of heaven should fall and the powers that are in heaven should be shaken. The elites, they're, they're afraid. This is why they're into hiding. Okay, this is why they're sending all this money and all this aid overseas to support in this war because honestly speaking, they need to wipe the slate clean now. You know? So it's a wrap, man. This place is through. It's 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 really comical because you can see the mirth, the spirit of America or Babylon is it is pretty much dead. People don't have the same outlook on life that they had. You know, they don't have the same hopes they once did. I mean a fucking day feels like ten seconds. Nobody have time to recollect their thoughts or get a balance or get a second win because everything is just, it's happening. All right, Isaiah 24, and I'm gonna start at verses seven. It says, the new line, the new wine mourneth in divine language. Okay, something that language is meaning it's kind of like in a depressed state. And it says, and all the merry hearted do sigh. You see these people back here? Low key, they're in disarray. They don't, they don't, they don't really know what the hell is going on. But they are hoping in something that would never be. And let's just say, even if she did assume office or Trump, whoever, 
two different routes that leads to the same end conclusion. That's it. They have a script for both sides. Okay, let's see how the people react to this person. Let's see how they react to that person. If people are cool, then we give them Trump. If people bucking up, we're going to give them Kamala. You know, but in the end game, it's still going to lead to the ultimate destruction of America because they both are going to push policies that's going to aid in the destruction of this place. Okay, they're just giving you this side of it. Okay, women's rights, uh, abortions, all this other stuff. You know, the other side, they just like, look, we're going to bring in draconian law. We're going to bring in detention centers. It all leads to the same conclusion. But it says here, the mirth of the tavern ceaseth and the noise of them that rejoiceth ended your mirth. The joy of the harp ceaseth, you know, which represents your club venues, your, your outings, you know, just your livelihoods, your mirth. It says, and they should not drink wine with the song because the average person, now, you know, you drink, you marry, you, you turn it up, you know, you, you're dancing, you in the clubs, you know, whether it be in your living room, the lounge, it's family reunions, the shit is dead. But it says, strong drink should be bitter to them that drink it. And the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in, okay, because eventually there will be a shutdown. Okay, why they're pushing these policies in your face? They're declaring another pandemic, World War III, microchips, FEMA camps. All these things are being drawn up while everybody is focused on this distraction. Okay, like the newest thing now is you got this nigga Le Dirk that's allegedly locked up for plotting on or hiring for murder. Then it was the Young Dolph thing and it's the Diddy thing, you know. They keep throwing these things in front of you because shit is really happening. But it says there's a crime for wine in the streets and all the joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. Okay, so there's no mirth here. Point blank period. People don't really see it anymore. It's just done. They're just hoping in something that will never be. All right, one last precept. Isaiah 31. Woe to the rebellious children, says Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And this is talking about to you Israelites, man. Okay, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the rebellious children. You are the children of Israel. You are the Lord's chosen people. Okay, he said that that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. So when she was talking about the whole abortion rights and you know the women being able to do what they want to do with their body, they're pushing a they're pushing a Marxist agenda. Okay, and if you look up Marxism, Marxism does away with the nuclear family, which was started or three lesbians that started Black Lives Matter under the guisemanship of this Amalekite by the name of George Soros. Okay, they used a black woman to push that ideology out there to get you to rebel. And this is all that this, this administration is really pumping for. It says that Walter go down to Egypt and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, should the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. So. It's a done deal, man. All right. But anyway, with that, all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about you? How about you? Lord, will you edify until the next lesson? Shalom.